proximal fifth metatarsal fractures. Fractures are common in the proximal fifth metatarsal. Anatomy of the proximal fifth metatarsal. Here you can see a normal apophysis. It is usually present between the ages of 9 to 14 years. The apophyseal line runs parallel to the shaft of the metatarsal along its lateral inferior margin of the tubercle. It does not extend proximally into the joint. The peroneus brevis tendon inserts into the proximal fifth metatarsal base. Here you can see the insertion of the peroneus brevis tendon. Here you can see the os peroneum. Os peroneum is an ossicle in the peroneus longus tendon where it is seen at the tip of the fifth metatarsal base. It is seen in 15% of the population. These are the areas of the proximal fifth metatarsal that may become fractured. There are three types of fractures at the proximal fifth metatarsal. One is an avulsion fracture, two is a Jones fracture, and three is a stress fracture. The proximal fifth metatarsal has been classified into three zones for these fractures. A zone 1 injury is an avulsion fracture. An avulsion fracture at the base of the 5th metatarsal has a relative incidence of 93%. It is due to sudden hind foot inversion resulting in tension along the lateral band of the plantar aponeurosis which inserts into the proximal base of the 5th metatarsal. Treatment. Weight bearing as tolerated with hard sole shoe. A zone 2 injury is a Jones fracture. It has a relative incidence of 4%. It occurs in an area of limited blood supply. It occurs at the proximal metaphyseal diaphyseal junction. The fracture extends from the lateral aspect of the 5th metatarsal toward the 4th and 5th metatarsal articular surface. It results from tensile stress along the lateral border of the 5th metatarsal. Chronic injuries have a high incidence of non-union. Treatment. Conservative. Non-weight bearing for 6 to 8 weeks. Two-thirds healing in acute fracture. In athletes, percutaneous screw fixation allows faster healing and return of function. Zone 3 injury. Stress fracture. It has a relative incidence of 3%. It is a proximal diaphyseal stress fracture and is mainly seen in athletes. It occurs in the proximal 1.5 centimeters of the shaft in the 5th metatarsal and results from repetitive cyclic loading. It can occur in a cavovarus foot. Treatment. Conservative. Non-weight bearing cast with 50% non-union. Surgical treatment internal compressive fixation, and possibly bone grafting. Surgery is performed in athletes and in non-union. Non-union is defined by patients who have pain with lucency around the fracture and or intramedullary sclerosis. Complication. Higher fracture rate if returned to sports prior to radiographic union. Proximal fifth metatarsal blood supply. Multiple metaphyseal arteries. Nutrient artery with intramedullary branches provide retrograde blood flow to proximal fifth metatarsal. Fractures distal to the tuberosity disrupts the nutrient arterial supply resulting in relative avascularity. Here you can see the blood supply. The dorsalis pedis artery, the lateral tarsal artery, the fourth dorsal metatarsal artery, and the arcuate artery. The fifth metatarsal is supplied by the metaphyseal arteries, the nutrient artery, and the epiphyseal artery. Here you can see the Jones fracture occurring in an area of limited blood supply. Ouch. Hey, Doc. I was playing soccer. I think maybe I broke my foot. Can you help me? Come right away.
all my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.